Hello, and welcome to a quick video overview of using the DNLA uh, media sharing tools on your Droid X with your PlayStation 3. Uh, this is an awesome, awesome tool because, um, say so you got some great pictures you've taken um, on your camera or uh, something like that, and you want to show them to people on your big screen TV in your living room, why hook it up over HDMI when we have this beautiful Wi-Fi technology that... Uh, makes it so no cables are necessary. Um, basically, all you gotta do on your um, Droid is go into DNLA, and you can see I've already enabled um, media sharing, um, and I've named my device already, so you just turn that on, and that is it. You are officially done with your phone. Wi-Fi is turned on on the phone. It's running, so I can come here now on my PS3, and you can see that I have under music and under or sorry under videos under music and under pictures i have a droid x and so let's say we go into our music we can say go into artist ign staff and i got a podcast here pick something that i won't get in trouble from youtube for playing so a little podcast beyond maybe and there we go our music is a play in straight from our droid x um, of course, you can go, you know, to other artists and flip through, and if there's album art and stuff like that, it'll uh, it'll show up there. Um, we can go to pictures, and just as easily come in here, and you can see it showing the three folders I've got shared. Um, though this is one drawback right now, and I hope they enhance this. Is right now the only option is to view all of your photos. Um, so any photos that are on your phone, um, you know, that's what's there. They don't. It doesn't like um, separate out by your tags or anything like that. And so you can see. If you have a lot of photos, that list can be pretty long. Um, and right now, unless I'm missing something, um, there's no way to sort by um, like reverse order sort or anything like that. So, um, like right now here, where I'm trying to get down to um, some photos that I took today, um, it takes a while because the DNLA service also um, takes a moment for the pictures to stream. So hopefully they will expand it so that um, rather than just having all photos. Um, you'll be able to output just certain tags, um, but you can see if we just pick a photo, that was a nice blurry one I picked for you. Um, these were all indoors at an aquarium. You can flip through all your photos. And just as a note, these photos were taken on my old Motorola Droid, not my Droid X. Um, but yeah, so you can view all your photos and everything there and um, it's, like I said, it's just a fantastic way. I really want to show you guys a, a photo um, taken from the Droid X. Here we go. You can see a nice widescreen photo then taken on the Droid X there like that. That's what I was going for. Um, the only other drawback at the moment, and this isn't so much a problem with the Droids as much as a problem with the PS3 and the 360 for that matter, under video, they will all simply say unsupported data. And that's because neither of these consoles support the 3GP video um, container that pretty much all cell phones use. So hopefully in a forthcoming firmware, we'll see Sony and uh, Microsoft for that matter um, have support for the 3GP format. So, um, but yeah, so for now, if you wanna listen to your music, you wanna look at pictures, use the DNLA service, and you don't even have to hook up any wires.